Hello my beautiful Capricorns, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekly tarot reading with me Deborah. Thank you for coming into this video. We are going to be looking at your energy from the 8th until the 14th of April. That is from the Friday until the following week Thursday. We want to see what is unfolding in your world, what is happening around you at this time, what we do not see coming as well and possibly see if there's any challenges that you are facing or changes or events that are taking place. As usual, we're going to look and at the end of the reading and we're going to get advice out from your spirit guide to show you um, what they want to show you. So we've got solitude coming up in your energy. Um, I think I had this for, if it wasn't for Scorpio, I think I had it for Scorpio. Um, the solitude energy, it's, an, it's almost the hermit card. It would be similar to the hermit, which is Virgo. But this says, in silence, peace prevails. It does show me that I'm currently, it's very different from the Scorpio energy that I picked up on. I feel like I'm reading for a single Capricorn out there. Okay. Okay, um, you're, you're in a quiet place right now. It's peaceful, but you might sometimes be feeling a bit lonely in this energy. Okay, so I want to see with regards to what is going on around you here. For my single Capricorns out there, what is happening? What is happening in your energy? And what do we not see coming? So let's have a look and see. For the second week of April, what is going on? Okay, you got the Sun card, which is always a positive card. We've got the death card, so there was an ending. This is why you are alone, okay? I got Scorpio coming in here, and I just said I got the solitude in Scorpio's reading. Wow, yeah, there has been an ending of some good. We got Leo coming in here as well. There has been an ending here that has taken place, and um, I feel like it's not something that you wanted to take place, it's not something that you wanted to happen. Um, it could have been connected to a person with the Knight of Cups here being in the reverse position. The Knight of Cups is somebody that couldn't offer you the courtship or the love that you wanted to have. They couldn't offer you um, what you needed to have with somebody, the stability that you were looking for, because you wanted something that was going to be strong, something that was going to stand the test of time with the strength card being there. Sometimes the, the mountain on the back of the strength card is an indication of the pyramids that were built, you know, and it shows that even the mountains, they stand for how many millions and millions of years. And um, you wanted something to be long-term, something to be strong. You all could have also thought I feel like this is a relationship that ended you could have also thought that um, you and this person were fated or meant for each other in some kind of way but it's almost like it wasn't the strength that you wanted it to be so an ending has taken place here with the Hassan card I feel you're okay but you're not connecting to anyone you're not having that emotional feeling or growth in a connection with somebody so you're just sort of on your own in your own energy so let's see what we do not see coming here the ten of swords reverse position you're going to let this go i, I see you you could still be holding on to this situation but i see you letting it go i do see yeah you're making a decision to let this go you're going to see the truth about a certain situation that's what i can pick up on here um i feel like you're seeing the truth as you're moving forward i don't see communication coming in from this person Okay, yeah, I do not see communication. If you're wondering if you're going to get communication from this person here after an ending has taken place, I do not see that communication coming in here because of the King of Cups being in the reverse position and the Eight of Wands showing that something did take place quite unexpectedly, quite quickly, and it hurt you a lot here with the Ten of Swords being there. Why I'm saying I don't see communication taking place for you is because the Ten of Swords is in the reverse position, an indication that this situation is already moving out of your life. It's moving into the past. It's not something that you're going to be having uh, moving forward. I really see you seeing this in your in your um in, in this solitude energy that you're finding yourself, I see you coming to this realization about the situation. And it's almost like you've been thinking a lot about it, being very unsure about what you need to do. Um, the, the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Cups coming up here now in the reverse position, even under the Knight of Cups, is a decision you need to make about this person. And you've been delaying it because of the Seven of Cups being in the reverse position. I see you not delaying it anymore. I see you releasing something here, letting something go. Sometimes this card can even be an indication of divorce or... Um, uh, signing of some kind of contract in that kind of way of releasing something but it's all about you needing to be stable in your life it's about you needing to be able to move forward but in a way of being stable you're looking at stability and at the end of the day I feel like it's this person who might have even 
broke up with you or left you or stopped communicating with you because they're both riding this white horse heading into this direction and there's even a white horse there so I feel like there was some kind of hope inside of you that possibly you'd still be able to have a connection to them I see you coming to this realization that this is not going to take place and you are making a decision to move forward away from this what do we have in the future for you what advice does your spirit guide want to give you justice card you got libra coming in here i feel like you're you have to find balance in your life here and you cannot find balance with a situation that is unstable i'm even seeing the queen of pentacles under the deck there indicating an unstable energy king and queen of pentacles your guys connection was not stable with the king and queen of pentacles it was never going to be stable and this is what you need to look at. You need to look at with a justice card coming up here. You need to look at the balance in your life, the stability in your life, what is right for you at the end of the day. And you need to move forward into a situation where it's going to be a balance in the future for you. There's going to be a fair give and take between you and another person. With the justice card showing itself for you here as well, I do feel that this situation that you had with this person was some kind of karmic connection that you had to work through, that you had to experience, but the justice card is also carrying a sword. The person in the the judge would be or the magistrate in this card would be carrying a sword and it's an indication that certain things and certain events in life sometimes need to be ended and this is one of those situations i do see you moving forward i see you releasing this feeling of this person lingering around in your energy and you are going to then be moving into a new positive cycle in your life because the justice card has shown itself but you have to release the past to be able to do so there we go capricorn i'm wishing you all the best moving forward i'm sending my love to you guys bye